<laughs> Amazing job, Pixar and Disney did it again by making me cry. <laughs> Again, another one. <laughs> they're, they're good at that. Yeah, right? Um, yes. yeah, I'm sure you're going to get this question a lot, but how exciting is it to be a part of a Pixar film that touches on the Mexican culture? It's, I think, the thing we're most thrilled about. I mean, it's you come to a Pixar project when you're invited as a fan anyway. I have two kids, and I've seen all of their movies, and there's no denying they're master storytellers. Oh, yeah. That they're, that they're at this moment, in this age, shining a light, a, re a rather bright light, on the beauty of the Mexican culture. It's not only a relief, man, it's just, I don't know, I think it's a game changer because Absolutely. what it will do is, with all the power they have in their storytelling, is reintroduce, in a way, this beautiful culture to a global community. And it will not only underscore that beauty, but it also um, share the connective tissue, really, that at the end of the day, we're all human beings. We right. all kind of traffic in the same wishes and desires, and it's all relatable. So I'm really excited about that part of it. Anthony, I'm sure you, you grew up watching this, so what about you? Oh yes, um, the day I found out I was gonna be in this movie, I just couldn't believe it because I would just watch these movies since very little and just to be in one at the age of 13 is mind-blowing and amazing. <laughs> and especially that- Dude, that it, you're not just <laughs> in it, you are the heart and yeah. soul of it. You <laughs> carry, he carries it. Thank yeah. you, and especially yeah. to be in a movie that features that this wonderful celebration, the Day of the Dead. Mm. Um, it's just amazing because I, I celebrate it since I was six years old. And, and now I just know more about it, and it makes me want to celebrate it even more. You know, um, Miguel's music is his passion, and his passion carries on throughout the film. Anthony, how do you hope to inspire people to live out their dreams and their passions? Oh, that's, that's a wonderful question, because I think Miguel does that, since he, he really, uh, he's very perseverant, and he doesn't give up. And even though his family tells him no music, and he, he really fights for what he wants and if he says he's going to be a musician he, he never gives up and he's going to be a musician yep. and I think he's a big role model for other children because like if they have a passion that they want to do and and they should share it to the world because if that's really what they want to do and they love it then they should pursue it absolutely now Benjamin how does it feel to play the most famous man in Mexico <laughs> and uh, how do you feel that the audience is what are your audience is going to take away from the downside of, of fame and, and perseverance and stuff like that well yeah it was it was a pretty you know pretty trippy thing to step into the shoes of a, a skeleton that's got that much swagger <laughs> yeah he's the Mexican Frank Sinatra right right, right. he's as adored for his, his uh, musical prowess as he is for his his, his star turns in, in Mexican cinema. So they were really big shoes to fill, a larger than life persona, um, a lot of fun. Um, and as the, as the idol of the, of, of the lead of the film, Miguel, you know, that interaction was a lot of fun to do. Um, you know, true to Pixar's form, there are some dramatic turns that take place later in the film without giving too much sure. up that, um, that make it that much more challenging. But um, yeah, what a great opportunity, man. Right, um, now, has there ever been a time where your family may have not approved of your artistic dreams, and how did you seize your moment? Actually, no, you know, I, I was very fortunate to, from a very um, um, early age, to be supported by both my mother and my father. It was actually my father's encouraging that, that, that prompted me to want to be an actor. My grandfather on my father's side, George Bratt, was a professional actor on Broadway back in the 20s. So I was told that it's, it's part of my DNA. And so, you know, with that belief, um, and it's very similar to what Miguel goes through, he's told that he comes from a, a family of musicians, even though it's now banned in his household, it just reinforces what he already knows about himself, is that he has a passion for artistic expression. And whether his family wants him to do it or not, he has to live it out. I can relate to that. Sure. I left home at a very early age to pursue that dream and in a similar way achieved it. But also like Miguel, as I got older, I realized I don't have to abandon who I am or where I come from or what makes me who I am, which right. is this path that was set by my ancestors. It actually makes me a stronger, better person, as I think Miguel discovers for himself.